missed baseball at the right time can lead to a team championship. That's what's happening for the Scranton Royals. Fox 56 Sports Director Bob I took in last weekend's games for the team as they look to make program history. It was a series sweep of Moravian this weekend for the University of Scranton baseball team. That has them just wins away from tying the record for most wins in a season. The Royals are starting to get hot at the right time. I think we're playing our, our best baseball right now. We, we had a really solid weekend against Moravian. Really good pitching and uh, our kids did a really good job for all three games. How about talent? Um, we have guys that can play, but I mean, you still got to work hard. And, and we got, you know, the, the guys come in here and they work hard every day. But, you know, we got good leadership on the top that pushes, brings everybody along. So. Yeah, something about this team uh, this year that I like a lot is it's, you know, not just one guy, it's everybody contributing. Um, if one guy's down, you know, another guy steps up. So, you know, it's next guy up mentality, and that's what I like about this team. The Royals are led by a senior class that has over 100 program wins. That includes a strong veteran pitching staff. Grad students Daniel Johnson and Hunter Roston are a combined 10-1 and as starters, and the depth is solid. I feel like we have a good staff. I mean, we've been... Pitching well the whole year so far, and we have a lot of good guys coming out of the pen to help us as starters uh, get the job done and get the win. How do you think you're doing? I feel like I'm doing pretty well so <laughs> far. I mean, so far so good, so hopefully keep it going and bring a championship here. I think we're throwing the ball well. If we limit a free bases, we don't walk guys, we don't hit guys, I think you know we're right up there with the best of them. Um, again, throwing strikes is everything in this game. Scranton's bats are hitting at a 295 clip while scoring over eight runs a game. Yes, we're um we're pretty we're a pretty athletic team. You know, we do some different things. We're not a big power team, um, but you know we, you know we play the game uh, gap to gap, and, and we got some guys that can run. So get guys on base. You get a you know a few hits in the gap here and there. Guys moving over through bunts, walks, you know whatever it may be, and then there's always someone picking someone up. So Scranton won their first ever landmark championship in 2021. Since then, they lost in the conference playoffs in 2022 and lost in the conference finals last season. This Royals team is motivated to win it once again. I mean, we're, we're six and two against regionally ranked mm -hmm. teams. We've had, you know, we're, we're, we're beating the teams that we need to beat. And, um, you know, we just we just think right now that not only a, a potential landmark championship, but we're I think we're an NCAA team also. How much can your pitching staff carry this team to a landmark conference championship? I think we'll go as far as the pitching staff takes us. Uh, again, the starters, you know, we've got two old guys, mm -hmm. that, fifth years that have, you know, given us good starts all year, and then the bullpen behind them. You know, it's, it's all about that bullpen. Bob Eide, Fox 56 Sports. Today, the Royals lost to Ithaca in a non-conference game. Tuesday, Scranton heads to take on Wilkes University.